Hey guys, how's everyone? It's Melody over here. So, let's do a uh, pick a card. First letter, name of your future spouse, and some other charms um, that we could understand about your future spouse. Any information about your future spouse, we're going to use charms. And I'm going to pull some letters to see any idea, first or last name of your future spouse, like the first or last initials anyways. So, okay, or maybe you can like, like uh, make out words from these letters that we're going to pull, but the letters that I'm using is a, like, it's not Scrabble type, like it's not that big it's it's very little okay but we're that's the reason why i wanted to um put right here right in front of you okay so let's go and we're going to pull some tarot too just to see like any messages okay who's this person you're going to marry okay but more so it's like a first and last initial name of your future spouse and anything else that we need to know, let's go. Calling on my spirit guides, my guardian angel, the assistance of the higher power and the spirit of the universe. As we're going to channel messages, possible energies, advice for those who's going to pick pile, red bracelet, yellow bracelet, green bracelet. Spirit guides, first and last initial names of our future spouse, the letters please, and anything we need to know, we're going to use some charms and some energy update please. Thank you. Let's go. So, okay. So let's see. Let's pull some tarot first. This is just going to be a quick reading. And if I can find like a bigger letters later on. Maybe we can make something. Okay, so let's go. Who's your future spouse? Pile one. Your future spouse, possibly blue eyes. If it's a masculine, they could be blue eyes, tall, lean, slender. But this person possibly is saying they will fight for you or this person needs to fight for you. It is also possible that this person could be a um, fair man because I'm seeing here like a blonde hair, blue eyes. Even if they don't have blue eyes, but they could be tall. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what else we can um, see. Who's your future spouse? They could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius because I'm seeing like fire energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be a soulmate connection, a higher level soulmate, or a, a soulmate connection, okay? So, it is also possible twin flame. Maybe you want to have children with this person, or you've been manifesting each other for quite some time. And I'm seeing 777, 10, 10, 10. So let's see what else can we um, understand. Who is this person? Maybe this person likes family or children. Oh my God. It is possible this is your twin flame, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The first time you're going to meet each other, it feels like you've known each other forever. Okay, so what else? Chariot. They could be a jet setter, a traveler, someone from a faraway land. They could be... Um, an entrepreneur or someone who travels a lot for work they could also be an athlete okay because that's what I could understand right now but this one I feel like this person's like fighting off a lot maybe they're into like competitive event like a sports-minded person cancer cancer energy so let's see King of Wands, it is possible your future spouse is a public figure, okay, very creative, very attractive, very hot, very sexy, has a lot of admirers, okay, if this is a masculine, they could have a very strong masculine energy, so it is also possible they could have brown, auburn, or reddish hair, okay, so far that's how I could understand, um, straight hair. What else is bringing us? Judgment. 
you might already know this person or you might already have met this person your future spouse or you are possibly already being drawn to this connection okay because the judgment means um you're going through some challenges right now but i feel like there's going to be a reunion okay so what is the star sign of judgment is it is it air sign libra gemini Aquarius okay so that this is what I could understand for you so far it's just going to be quick and quick, quick. going to close my eyes I'm going to close my eyes first and la letter of your future spouse let's just uh, I'm going to close my eyes and then it's going to be, sorry it's going to be a little loud but there's already a lot that's coming in Ooh, this person you're going to fall in love so much this person loves you very very much or this person has a big heart or you're going to love this person very much or you're going to marry someone you love very much they all trust your intuition this connection is going to be uh, how will you know they're the one through your inner knowing through your dreams, intuition. It's going to be channeled message, spiritual downloads, but it's intuition. So they might give you a gift or you are each other's gift from up above. This connection is divinely guided, divinely orchestrated. Like I said, it's twin flame, soulmate connection. There's a dragonfly here. There's a dragonfly that could symbolize transformation adventure i feel like because you know there's a lot of wands energy in your future spouse okay so let's see but i like the dragonfly they're kind of like gentle creatures okay but they're much more um maybe you're going to meet this person like somewhere in the like afternoon 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 something like that i don't know why i'm they could be someone who loves to sail or maybe they live overseas maybe they like the ocean because and then this feels like you've been connecting with this person for quite some time because this is the anchor it's like a mature love spiritual love yeah it's a work in progress because this is the tree maybe a message that they like nature they love nature or you both need to meditate but this could also meant like a kabbalah tree it's like it's a work in progress okay your connection is a work in progress screw maybe they could be uh, into carpentry into build building stuff sorry the letters screw or maybe they into cars or like they might be working something around the house okay so something like that so anyway maybe they could be like a hands-on person this is like a flower maybe they like maybe they have piercings <laughs> i don't know but this is my earring anyway but this is a flower maybe they think you're very delicate like a flower butterfly yeah, you went through so much uh, changes and transformation and possibly you went through like difficult transformation. Okay, but are you both awakened? Yes, this is a very strong spiritual connection. Ooh, there's a lot of charms that coming in. So what is this experience? Look, it looks like a four-leaf clover, but it looks like like an intertwined infinity okay but we kind of know that it's a twin flame connection anyway i don't know i didn't expect this i i don't even know how i got this but um yeah a flower they think you are a delicate flower maybe you're going to trigger this protective energy from this person another owl i tell you messages from our guardians your future spouse is going to be guided to you through your inner knowing through your wisdom knowledge intuition so trust your intuition so there's an s here i don't know if you can see 
there's an S. Sorry, because like I said, it's very little. There's a W, another S. Oh my God, P, V, E, a lot of S. Oh my God, it's a lot of S. There's three S, P, V, E, W, but you have a lot of charm too. So your future spouse could have V, S, P, W, E on their name. So, Wes, Sass, <laughs> Sue, Vess. I don't know, but anyway, it's a possibility. There's not a lot of letters in your pile, but there's a lot of charm. Okay, but um, Spirit Guy says your future spouse could be your twin flame or your soulmate. Okay, so let's go pile yellow. I gravitate to pile yellow. Let's understand, okay? Who is your future spouse? Fast forward to the timestamp. I have really... As my personal choice anyway, I gravitate to pile yellow. So let's see who's your future spouse, pile yellow. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So someone in here could be single for quite a while. Independent, free spirit. She could also be very smart and a calling that pile two you need to focus you need to be objective you've possibly been embracing this journey and feeling impatient but let's see what is going on your someone in here could have straight hair delicate features angel fairy like angelic attributes angelic features i don't know because i'm picking it up okay so anyway um and then when the when the light hits your their eyes it could be like you know their eyes kind of like light up when the sun's reflection i don't know why i'm kind of picking that up but anyway eight of wands leo aris sagittarius this person your future spouse is very passionate and sensual with you so whoever you're going to marry pal two is going to be really attracted to you they're possibly going to make a first move towards you. Maybe when they're going to see you, they cannot stop thinking about you. Okay, if there's any distance, then this person you're going to meet because they're possibly going to travel in your area. Okay, so anyway, what else? The tower, I tell you. When you meet this person, you're going to blow their mind away. But the tower also meant some kind of you know maybe this person um was kind of stuck on a karmic connection when you meet them and then when you meet this person you're going to trigger this this uh person's awakening okay so let's see this scorpio energy the sun oh my god you're going to trigger their spiritual awakening so they can see you so they can understand this connection leo aries sagittarius the sun also meant no matter what darkness and separation you've been through you're going to end up together okay because the sun maybe you want to have children together it is also possible that this person is very successful very wealthy very generous and gallant adventurous okay very attractive as well so anyway let's see what else is pairing us two of wands your future spouse there's a lot of fire energy here leo aries sagittarius there could be distance between you this person could be like very tall they could have traveled the world okay they could be a mixed race it is possible um but this person is going to be destined for you fated and destined you, you're fated and destined to meet this person, okay? King of Wands, I tell you, a lot of fire energy. So anyway, King of Wands is a very attractive person. It's a person who cannot stop thinking about you, cannot stop looking at you. They want to kiss you, they want to hold you. I mean, 
um, I feel like this person is you really blew their mind away okay that's how I could understand I feel like or if this is your feeling you really like this person very very much I mean so much physical attraction here okay so I feel like there's a feminine here you could be like someone like introvert and then your future spouse could be someone like seen in the public eye in the social setting okay they could love music acting sports business okay so anyway let's, let's see but you're going to be happy together okay no matter what insanity you've um, encountered you're going to get out of that okay because i saw the sun sun means happiness joy success so let's see i'm going to close my eyes um the first and last letter of your future spouse and sun charms you're going to be a gift towards each other or I feel like this person really feel blessed to have you in their life. Remember, I was already channeling that they really, you really blew their mind away. It feels like you're going to change their life forever. It feels like when they know you, I feel like their life is never the same. So I feel like, see, you could be a flower waiting to blossom maybe your romance is waiting to blossom maybe you have known this person but you're waiting for this romance to to um like blossom okay so see i tell you there's butterfly here so you're going through some kind of process right now or transformation in your journey towards each other some of you could be in separation some of you could be really doubting this connection right now but there's a message here trust and surrender because this person you might not realize that or maybe you kind of feel it okay you kind of feel that feeling but maybe this person needs to express but i feel like this person ready to express their feelings towards you another butterfly both of you are mirroring each other's energy because back to back to back there's butterfly here but one is much more evolved and much more spiritual it could be you pile two you're much more spiritual but also a message that you need to be patient because your connection right now is also evolving they're kind of like confused right now but they're evolving they're very much awake as well so it's a message here from universe that trust the process okay because this is like the kabbalah tree the tree of life it could also mean that your spirit guides your higher selves are really helping you both to recognize each other in this lifetime okay so this is like um, a teardrop earring so maybe pal two you've cried a lot of tears okay you could be someone feeling helpless right now and you're possibly sick being single but like i said these tears is going to stop okay because the sun is going to shine your way so what is this see this is the four leaf clover i feel like yeah this is a four leaf clover this is good fortune good luck or you are each other's destiny things are going to go in your favor soon okay universe will have your back when it comes to this connection so there's an eiffel tower here so maybe spirit guy says they're really feeling romantic towards you france also is the most romantic city in the world maybe there's going to be engagement proposal very soon for you another butterfly there's a lot of butterfly here you might be really feeling hopeless in this connection but don't okay because the darkness maybe you cannot see right now it's all foggy but there's a glimmer of hope here look you might have been feeling invested emotionally physically spiritually in this connection but this is a mature love a spiritual love but you'll find each other okay it feels like the this connection has been sailing for a long time and then bam it's the anchor it's going to find its 
it's grounding okay it could be like a twin flame union divine union oh my god another butterfly i cannot believe it this is like a rusty butterfly you have four butterflies in your in your pile maybe butterflies are going to be your spirit animal okay perhaps the butterfly is proof that you can go through a great deal of darkness and become someone so beautiful anyway you're you're both out of the cocoon you're both the butterfly circle also symbolize community guardian angel spread your wings and fly angel oh my god there's a lot i don't know what is this is this a pine tree or something like a pine needle i don't know i cannot took it it could be a pine tree pine needle like christmas or something maybe you both love christmas so anyway uh, there's a lot of letter l first and last initial of your future spouse o is this a q yeah i feel like this is a q f s another s d x n m <laughs> feels like i could put my name in here melody there's another q another d okay because this is so little there's G, there's R, there's W, there's H, there's a lot of letter for you, there's E, oh, if you can see that's letter E, okay, there's O, There's T, there's F, there's a lot, there's a lot of letters, just, and K, okay, there's a lot of letters, so that's it, first and last initial of your future spouse, there's O, W, T, H, K, D, L, F, X, S, Q, M, H, K. Anyway, this is the first and last. Is this a possibility? Okay. So anyway, um, this pine needle just came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, another X here. So, uh, oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go, just one, two, three. Let's go pile green. Who is your future spouse? Pile green. What can we find out about your future spouse? Just a quick energy update. Who is this person? Queen of coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be a businessman, businesswoman. They could be good with numbers, they could be money, they could own their own business, they could be CEO, or they could have a high position in, the, in a company, okay? Very luxurious, very abundant, very stylish, very caring, nurturing, okay? So I'm, maybe this person colors their hair or you color your hair. So um, very graceful, elegant, that's your and stylish your future person what else is very nice taurus virgo capricorn again so maybe there's some masculine here quite a little bit indecisive at the moment they could be looking younger maybe a, a, they need to grow up a little bit okay maybe someone has hurt you pile tree 
if you already know this person maybe someone has ghosted you and hurt you and you didn't understand because this person is a little bit immature okay the magician and possibly you were feeling hurt because you know if they're making a promise they did not um, come true for it but this person is a work in progress this person is currently working on themselves okay and this person has a lot of ability like a lot of potential to be really abundant you know maybe because they have so much goals and dreams in their life will they achieve it like will they be wealthy yes i think they will okay they will be very very abundant because they could be really creative as well they like music movies um creativity but this person is a dreamer but they're going to make it happen okay so what i'm seeing here what is maybe you're seeing 11 11 magician has a lot of the the four star signs okay because magician also means they have all the resources that they need okay so anyway let's see hmm Maybe they could have dark hair, but younger looking or actually really young. Let's understand. Yeah, someone has ghosted you. Or maybe this person is really just trying to grow up right now. Okay, maybe trying to like learn, okay, not to not to be tempted, not to be distracted. So basically they need to like really move away from addictions temptations like vices okay like smoking drinking alcohol <laughs> substance abuse maybe this person has uh, passed about that or if they're currently going through some vices and temptation they need to grow up they need to learn not to do that okay so libra gemini aquarius this person was just confused for a while the star is aquarius energy so you are also possibly like in a distance with this person and thinking like is there really hope for you and this person to be together but i feel like the star is dreams do come true okay i mean you might think it's all hopeless right now but not all hope is lost in your connection it's just your journey just begun okay I mean, the star also meant like the stars and the planets going to align how you're going to meet. So maybe you are praying how you're going to meet this person, how you're going to meet each other, your first meeting, because I am seeing it. It's very much possible. No distance, no space, no time. If it's the right time, Pam. Yeah, you're... I tell you, you're kind of confused right now. There's a masculine here. You might be thinking like, oh my God, it's too good to be true. This connection is too good to be true. You might be seeing 222 two, two a lot or 777 or 1111. So all I can tell you, this person is just learning right now. Okay, a lot of life lessons. There's a lot of air energy and earth energy here. So air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let me get another one, spirit guys. The moon. I don't read on reverse anyway. The moon could be Pisces. Cancer. Okay, like a, a strong water energy. But anyway, the moon meant... They could be mysterious but this is a work in progress okay because this is a universe trying to say you cannot see it right now it's kind of like blurry that's why i said there's a lot of confusion here but there's a glimmer of light the moon shines at night the star shines at night and you both have that okay so spirit guy says you might not this connection you might not really be expecting it but it will it will happen you might be thinking, oh my God, is this person just like saying that they're going to change? Yes, they will change. They will make it happen. Okay. So anyway, um, that's just going to be quick one, two, three. Maybe this person is a night person. I don't know. Maybe they cannot 
sleep right now because someone is laying awake here. Maybe someone is feeling anxious in this connection right now. So anyway, sorry, it kind of loud, but I want to um, see. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to see first and last initial of your future stars. I really feel pulled to be digging here. Okay, so oh, this acorn. Oh my god, I love this. Look, acorn means good luck, or you're going to be blessed, or you're going to be really lucky, even if you think, like, oh my god, all hope is lost. So, there's good luck there. Yeah, your connection is just awakening right now, okay? Trying to be mature, trying. You might be thinking, oh my God, you're so hurt because your connection is not fighting for you, but they will fly back to you. They will find their way back to you. I Look, the star. You're the only pile that we see a lot of stars. Pile two and pile three never even saw the star there, but look. The star's dreams to come true, like Cinderella energy. Maybe your future spouse is a star or a star seed. So anyway, I love the stars. So anyway, this is like the coin or the Caesar. They could be really noble, emperor energy, empress energy, king, queen, very noble. Like this is Julius Caesar coin. So they're really very wealthy, abundant, okay? This person's really going to be wealthy, has a lot of potential to be really going to the top potential, okay? So there's pearls here too. This person has a lot of feelings, secret feelings. If you get to know this person, this person is capable of emotions. Their feelings is just really like very deep but they have an inner world you gotta get to know this person maybe because this person's a little bit of a showman sometimes you do not know what they truly feel inside because they're capable of hiding their true emotions but they have that inner world okay they don't invite just anyone in their inner world right now this gift i keep seeing on pile one two and three you are going to be each other's gift towards each other you're going to be really feeling lucky that you're going to meet each other or get to know each other and marry each other because this is the gift. I've seen this on pile one, two, and three, and you're going to be protected from all dark attacks, from all bad juju, okay? Be careful because, you know, maybe someone is sending you bad energy and block magic. Well, you're going to be protected from that. That's a message from the universe because this is Hamsa, okay? Protection from negative energies. So, elephant. It feels like this is quite a long journey, but I also see the elephant as a good luck sign. Maybe elephant is, and butterfly is your spirit animal. Elephant could also mean, it's quite a long journey, but it's going to make you wiser in the end. Elephants also... Um, are very family oriented so maybe this person has very big family or you, maybe you're going to have a, a big family together like you know elephants are also like gentle creatures even if they're big maybe this person is a like you know maybe they they have a <laughs> big heart or maybe they kind of like you know maybe they tall I don't know but but I love the elephants. So anyway, okay, so let's go. First and last letter possible. M, L, D, R, C. There's another C, J. S D X whose name will have X on it <laughs> maybe this is maybe you have a past life 
connection with this person okay so a or maybe you already met this person i don't know but l e sorry because this is really another x i tell you what is this is this an o o e t <laughs> maybe they're attacked or they love E.T., they love alien life. Oh my goodness, what is this? Is this an H? Why? Maybe you're asking why right now. There's a Q. They're really queenly. Or you have to be queening right now to manifest this connection. There's a lot of S. There's two S right here, but I'm really gravitating to this purple S, so there's really like intuition here. Your future spouse is very intuitive. There's another purple M, another J, and last G. Okay, so sorry, because these letters are really small and I could only try if you can form a name in there there's gem this jr junior what else dog <laughs> dom dude jed mel um set this there's A too, so anyway, mm, <laughs> okay, jars, <laughs> I don't know why, but anyway, you can, anyway, this is a possibility, okay, thank you very much, and I think this is what we can do right now, thank you, and see you on my next reading. And you're watching Spiritual Explorer 1111. This is Melody. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.